Hi, I'm Matt from Palmetto State Armory, and today I'm going to show you how to put your Jackal specific components onto any mil spec lower. In the Jackal platform, there is no external buffer system. So, to be able to have a gun that has a buffer system inside of your upper, you need to put some components on the back of the lower. So the first thing we'll put in, threaded adapter. This threads in from the back with a flat head side facing out. You get it started by hand and take a flat head screwdriver, drive it the rest of the way. You'll stop driving when it sits just below flush with the back of the lower receiver. For this operation, PSA recommends using a blue Loctite so that the screw does not back out during operation. From there, you'll put in your takedown pin. You'll put in the takedown pin just like you would a mil spec lower, pin first, then detent, and take down detent spring. From there, you'll take your stock adapter, line it up with the back of the lower, and snap it into place. While holding pressure on the back of the adapter, we'll take our buffer ring and put it into place with the countersink side facing the inside of the lower receiver. And you'll take your 1032 flathead screw, start it by hand, and take a 5 seconds Allen wrench and drive it down until it's snug. Again, PSA recommends using a blue Loctite for this screw so that it does not back out during the operation of the firearm. Now, you have a mil spec lower with the Jackal buffer assembly back plate put on the back of it. Please tune in to the next video. We'll show you how to put the Jackal specific bolt catch into your standard AR-15 lower.